Hey, welcome back to a brand new episode of Chow Time with JP. Joining me for tonight's episode is Jill. Hi. And not joining us tonight is Lily. She does have a tummy ache, so she is going to skip out on tonight's episode, but she will be in a future one. Now, typically we do these live, and it's been a little bit of time since we've done one of these. But since we had a little bit of a break, we decided to, we wanted to kind of revamp things, do them a little bit different. So we're going to do this in a different way. Obviously, it's not live, and we're going to do it so it's more kind of enjoyable to watch for the viewer and to kind of keep the pace going a little bit faster. But for tonight, we do have an assortment of stuff. This was sent in from two different viewers. This was sent in from one individual. Everything else came from someone else. They were sent in from for Sunday Night Live a couple months ago. And we're a little bit backed up on it, but we're finally getting to it. Some of it is uh, candy. Some of it's more uh, jellies and syrup. We even have something that's microwaved, which is gonna be something unique and different. So. Excuse me, without wasting more time, we're going to jump right into it. Uh, I think we're going to start with something crunchy. These you may remember from your childhood. And if you haven't, these are known as flying saucers or discs or that. even UFOs. What they are, they're little wafer kind of capsules. And inside is hard little granulations of sugar. Not a whole lot of flavor to them. It's really hard and crunchy on the inside, but it's a... Kind of a fun little snack or treat. So we'll try these first. I'll take a blue and pink one. So there's three different colors. There's white and tan, blue and tan, and pink and blue. blue. And also solid colors as well. I'll go with the pink one. I'm sorry, a blue one. And you can hear <laughs> it is filled up. Are these and, like uh, the wafers you get at church? Yeah, it's almost like the wafers in church. <laughs> You can do it two different ways. You can just pop the whole thing in your mouth or you can bite it in half. I'm going to break one open to kind of show you guys. And then I'll eat the other one. So yeah, it's basically a plate full of little, almost like sprinkles. So I'm going to do one with a mouthful. So here we go. Definitely how I remember them. They weren't my favorite. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've had those and the wafer has no flavor. It's even not even a great texture. The inside little sugar candies does have some flavor. They're really hard, but again, it's more of a novelty little snack. It's not something you really crave, but it is different with the way it's created. So that was a uh, UFO flying saucer discs. <laughs> Okay, so I guess uh, Jill will pick the next one. Uh, Lake Winnie Pesky? Pesky? I don't know. Chocolate, rock, and shells. Winnipesaki. Winnipesaki? Yes, I think that's how she said it's pronounced. <laughs> so it's um, almost like rocks or seashells. There's like different things in there. I think that there's also a fish in here too. Oh, I didn't even know if it's that a gummy fish. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it's supposed to be in there. Yes, yeah, so these are chocolate rocks and shells, and I got a gummy. <laughs> there is a pink seashell, a blue rock, a black rock. These are pretty neat. They're actually very similar to something that Lily did. I think it was on her channel where she ate chocolate covered rocks. They sold them at five below, but they were much smaller, almost like little pebbles. These are about the size of a nickel. So I'm gonna try the seashell. Hmm. It's almost like an M&M. <laughs> so yeah, these um, have a hard outer shell. And inside is chocolate. And Jinxie's trying to get into our silverware. But yeah, very similar to an M&M, but it's a nice kind of decorative snack. You know, if you were to put these in a dish and have company over, I don't think they'd be able to tell it's actually chocolate or edible. You start popping them in your mouth and you're like, what are you doing? So it's a neat little kind of fun novelty ocean themed chocolate treat. And I love chocolate. So it, it tastes good. Mm-hmm. It's really good. We're going to do something now I want to get out of the way because I'm not a big fan of it. Wow. And that is the wax bottles. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of that either. If you don't know what these are, these are 
bottles shaped, um, wax shaped bottles, and inside is a liquid. So all you do is you bite off the end of it, drink the liquid. <laughs> Good thing we're not live because the cat's getting a little rowdy over here. Um, yeah, so basically you drink it. The wax is edible, but I wouldn't advise eating it unless you like wax, you know, texture. But I'm gonna take a blue one and she can have what she wants. Like soda bottles. Yeah, it looks like a Coca-Cola bottle. They do look neat. And um, the flavor, we'll see if the flavor matches the color. But we're gonna bite it off. I don't eat the wax. Hmm. That's definitely a blueberry flavor. Cherry. Cherry. Yeah, not bad. So the colors do match the flavor. So blue is blueberry. The pink one is uh, cherry. Where's the rest of them? Oh. There is yellow, which is maybe lemonade. There's orange for orange, green for maybe, I don't know. Try it. You could try it. But yeah, this is edible, but I wouldn't advise eating it. Tastes like something I remember, but I don't know what is it fruity or? Yeah. Oh, you know what it tastes like? Mm. The ice pops. Oh, okay. Those ones in the tube? Yeah, that's actually a good description. If you have the ice pop that's kind of melted. Like flavor pops or flavo pops or whatever they yeah. are. Yeah, so it's like a warm ice pop flavor. But yeah. This is definitely blueberry, which is enjoyable. All right, so that's out of the way. <laughs> we can move on. My turn? Yeah. Oh. Uh, I don't want to get these out of the way. I'm not a big fan of maple, but these are pure New England maple candies. Yeah, they're shaped like maple leaves. They look like little peanut butter cups, it's but... Ben's Sugar Shack. I think it's maple flavor. I've had maple something before. It wasn't the greatest. 100% pure maple syrup candies. Hmm. Yeah, so they are little maple flavored leaves. It's, um, I don't even know what the texture is. It's like hard and it's almost like sparkly. It no smells smell, really. very faint smell. Oh, like chalky. They're not overpowering, but they're really, really sweet. Yeah, after it hits in your mouth and kind of dissolves, you get a really strong maple flavor. I'm not a big fan of the texture though. It's almost like a chalky material. It's like something that's almost stale. Not bad, but yeah. I feel like maple, mm. you know. I like maple on waffles, that's about it. Not candy form. So not the greatest, but it's different. Okay, so I guess we'll um, go on to some chocolate now. And this one is rather odd. This is bacon barbecue. It says CB stuffer chocolate with stuff. So it's barbecue bacon chocolate bar. I like bacon. I like chocolate. I like barbecue. As to how they're going to be together, we'll have to find out. Hope this doesn't ruin bacon for me or chocolate. I don't know how this is going to be. People do eat chocolate and bacon together, so I don't know how the barbecue is going to be. It smells like chocolate. Yeah, it's pretty much just chocolate. I don't taste anything else. There are little I don't know what you Crunchy want to call pieces. them. Crunchies. <laughs> I don't know if they're nuts or something, but there is something inside mm. of it. That's bacon. It's not very strong bacon, but it's bacon. I don't taste it. It just tastes like chocolate. It doesn't taste like great milk chocolate, but it's not horrible. Yeah, it just tastes a little different. I don't taste barbecue or bacon. So, I mean, it's okay. And I'd rather just have a regular milk chocolate bar, preferably Hershey's, but 
It's all right. It's, I was expecting something a little different though. Okay, so we got three, I guess you call them jams here. And these are made by Cindy. This is called Cindy's Blueberry Spice Jam. This is the first one. The dark purple color. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna be spicy or not, but it looks, you know, nice dark purple. No, there's no spice in it. It tells you right there. This one has spice in it. It's supposed oh, to. Oh, well, yeah, it says blueberry, sugar, cinnamon, nutmeg, lemon, juice, and zest. So maybe spice is just the name of it. Spice jam. Oh, Jinxie wants them too. Okay, so we put them on crackers. This is Cindy's Spice Jam. No smell. Mm, I like that. It has like a, a grape flavor to it. It's pretty good. I actually like that. I do like, you know, my peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I typically go with grape or strawberry, but these will be great to add on to them. <laughs> Jinxie, you're in the way. Come on. <clears throat> okay, next up is Cindy's mm -hmm. Candy Apple Jelly. Not a huge fan of apples, so I'm hoping it's not too strong of an apple flavor. don't know this is Jinxie. He's one of two cats. He is not camera shy and he's very nosy. No treats today. Mm, I smell cinnamon. It's a nice pink color. It looks like um, watermelon Jolly Rancher. Oh, I smell cinnamon really strong. Too. So I do like the blueberry spice jam better, but this one isn't too bad. I'm not a huge fan of cinnamon, but it's not overpowering. It's pretty good. apple butter and pumpkin butter. I don't. I'm probably not going to like this. And it's oh. no offense to you who made it. I'm just not I'm that person. I love it. You don't like apple. No, you don't like it. I'll try it, but I'm not going to like it. I'm pretty certain. I've got a hair on here. It's like applesauce. Mm, pretty close. Ugh. Mm. Just real good. I like that. <laughs> it's okay. I've had much worse, but it's not something I would go for on my own. All right, we got a few items left. I think we're gonna stick with the liquid form. This is New Hampshire Pure Maple Syrup. And it's from Ben's Sugar Shack. It comes in a nice little maple jar here. And um, from Temple, New Hampshire. Ben'sMapleSyrup.com. You're good on some waffles, but we're gonna have to substitute a waffle with a cracker. Mm, has a different smell than I'm used to. I'm used to like. Mrs. Butter's Wars. <laughs> so this is going to be different. Very, very runny. It smells like coffee. Probably not, but... I hope it's not coffee. I don't think so. Okay. Here we go. Hmm. 
I like it. Yeah, it's a better taste of um, candy. Let me get a little more. The, the cracker kind of, I'm going to get it on my finger here. The cracker kind of took away, absorbed it up. Yeah, it's like a very rich flavor. It's not like something you buy store bought. It tastes more, you know, I don't know how to describe it, more natural, more, you know, original, I guess you could say, not pre processed. So that's a good flavor to it. I like that. Definitely be using that for breakfast. Okay, um, what do you want to do next? What is that? They're ice cubes. Ice cubes. I think it's a candy or Did a chocolate. Did we have those before? We may have. I think they're all sticky now from the syrup. So these are Moritz ice cubes. Made in Germany. Alberts. I remember having them before. I don't remember what they taste like, but it's the original Moritz. And yes, made in Germany. No, it's just a cube of chocolate. It has a little tiny design on it. It just smells like chocolate. Mmm. Inside's like a chocolate filling. That's really good. Yeah. It's like a uh, rich, creamy chocolate center. I like those better than yeah. the bacon thing. I could eat probably about a dozen of those. Really rich and creamy, but good flavor though. It's not overpowering. Okay. Next, we're going to do something that's going to require some off time, which you guys won't even be affected by, but this is Low Rees Bacon Curls Microwave pork rinds, or better known as chicharrones. Original mm. flavor, hot and crispy. Now, I do like pork rinds. It's been years since I've had them, but they usually sell them in the bag. You know, they're puffs of like, bless you. <laughs> they're puffs of like, um, I don't know if it's fat or whatever it is, but they are like a crunchy snack. But I never had microwave ones or hot ones. So we're gonna pop these in the microwave. We'll bring them back and try them for you. All right, they're hot out of the microwave. So I was expecting listening for popping <laughs> and it doesn't pop. <coughs> you just have to watch the bag, it expands. It horrible. But they're deflating now. They don't look the best, but I've always enjoyed them. They smell awful. I don't like pork rind, so <laughs> this is like mm. I don't wanna let me see. It's popping and they're like deflating. But I'm gonna try it. Hmm. Tastes much better than it smells. Yeah, the smell is really bad. I don't know why, but they taste. I don't even know if I can get past the smell. Yeah, something. Oh, yeah. The bag is smells like death, <laughs> but uh, it tastes good though. You get past the smell. It tastes really good. They're salty, crunchy. No. This is where we're different. Yeah, for whatever reason, I had a really bad smell, but they taste salty and like, a little bit sweet, crunchy. They're light and fluffy. I mean, it's not a healthy snack and it's not for everyone, but I happen to enjoy them, so. Mm. But the smell is really bad. I don't know why. It's, uh, it smells like dead pig. Okay, so we got a couple of things left. Um, before we move on, we do have three packs of gum. We're not gonna try them because we're not gonna sit here and chew gum. But they did send us 
kind of these old school packs of gum. There's clove chewing gum, blackjack chewing gum, and Beeman's chewing gum. So these may sound or look familiar to you. They're kind of in the original old school, you know, wrapper packaging. And it's not something you would traditionally buy in a store today, but I do remember seeing these in stores or candy stores or on the racks or the shelves, you know, when I was younger. But we will have these, you know, for our own enjoyment, but um, we're not gonna try them on camera, but they were included in the box of stuff. So I pulled out, this is called Charms. I used to get these in my uh, Christmas stocking. And I I think that's what I used. Yeah, I got them in my Christmas stocking, if I remember. These, I don't remember if I had these. They're not Charms, but I don't remember them like this. No, weren't they round? Yeah, weren't they like on a bracelet or something? with those Charms? No. I'm thinking of something else. Those ones that you bite off your bracelet. Like. Oh, that's not, no, that's not charms. That's like, that's something different. Okay, so there's a bunch of them in here and there's different flavors. I got cherry. I'm trying to see what else is in here. So, are these something you'd suck on or you chew yeah. them? Yeah, suck on them. Okay, so there's, um, so we got some here. Looks like maybe lemon, cherry, maybe grape, grape orange. I'm gonna go for one. Looks like it might be watermelon. I'm gonna try that. It tastes like the old candy too. <laughs> watermelon. It's not bad. It's um just a hard candy to suck on. Mm-hmm. So watermelon tastes pretty good. I'm sure if there was, um, if one of them was strawberry, I like strawberry too. I'm not a big fan of cherry. I don't like lemon or orange, but grape I'd probably like too, but this is a good one. But um, nothing special, just a hard candy. But while we're doing this, we're gonna open up the next one, or the last one I should say. What is it called? Gold Mine Nugget Bubble Gum from Espies. Espies. And it comes in a little sack, like a little sack of gold. Huh. Looks like chiclets almost. Yeah, so it comes in this little sack, which is a clever little packaging thing. And um, inside of it is a bag of yellow gold. And it is yellow. Best before 9, 2022. 2022. <laughs> and these look like, um, remind me of like chiclets or even smaller versions of the chocolate candies the rocks. But I think this is supposed to be bubble gum, so. I'm gonna take my charms out and we'll try these. Oh, I don't wanna lose my gold. I'm gonna take a little handful here. Really hard. Hmm. It just says nugget bubble gum. After you start chewing it and break the, the texture of it, it does turn into gum. What flavor is that? It's a different flavor. Huh. It's almost like, I don't know if it's like lemon or something. It's a strange flavor. Mm -mm, not lemon. It's not like, Grape or strawberry or cherry, though it's. I can't put my finger on it. It's like the spice taste. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of it. It's a clever little thing, you know. It's neat, you know. Get someone a little sack of gold bubble gum, but I'm not a big fan of the flavor. But um, that is everything for tonight's episode of Chow Time with JP. Uh, we're both going to tell you our favorite and least favorite items, and feel free to do the same. Comment down below. Tell us what you think would be your favorite item or least favorite. I can tell you right now, the least favorite for her, and correct me if I'm wrong, is the chicharrones or yep. what are they called? The um, pork, rinds. pork rinds. Those are definitely her least favorite. So what's your favorite? My favorite would probably be toss up between the apple butter and the chocolate. 
Okay, so, hmm, I'd say least favorite for me would probably be, that's tough. But nothing was really that bad. I would say probably the flying sauce, flying saucer discs. Um, they're just not really for me. I mean, if they're neat looking, they're fun, but just not a whole lot of flavor. Probably a close runner up. I forgot about these is the maple thing, but yeah, that's my least favorite. My favorite, I would have to say, it's probably the ice cubes. Those were um, really enjoyable. You know, chocolate, creamy. Close runner up are the rocks the seashells but mm -hmm. everything else you I mean was not bad i don't like apple butter not to say it's bad it's just not something i enjoy she does so she could vouch for its goodness the two other ones here the spice sorry the uh, blueberry spice jam and the apple jelly were enjoyable as was the syrup those would definitely be used and everything else um you know we'll either have for lily or other guests to come over the house and see what they think of it. But I do want to thank the viewers who did send these out. You guys know who you are. So thank you once again for the generosity to send these out. I know we're a bit behind on getting to them. We do have another box to get to from another viewer that came roughly around the same time with some different snacks and treats. So they will be coming out. I should say that will be coming out in a few weeks. Mm -hmm. And feel free to give some feedback as to the way we're doing this episode now with the edited version. We we're able to kind of show you things, pictures of what we're doing and kind of cutting out all the downtime. I think it's going to make for a better, enjoyable video. And um, if you like these, you know, make sure to check out the Chow Time playlist where we have other food reviews that we've done in the past. Anything from you? No, I think it was a uh, fun, different things to try and you know, I'm glad that we were able to do it. Yeah, it's always fun to try something new and different, especially when it's not something we have in our area. So. When viewers send out stuff that is local to them but not me or us mm -hmm. it's uh something new and exciting even if i don't like it i am willing to try it and um this was an overall good little assortment of stuff so thank you yep. thank to those you who much. sent it out and thanks to you who tuned in to watch definitely appreciate your support and just want to say that uh we'll see you real soon Bye, guys. in the next video take care